Hey everybody, it's Scott Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you from the C-Dub studio on the expansive first floor of the Winners and Winners Sports and Entertainment Complex to bring you today's Deep Three. Uh, if you would be so kind, don't forget to uh, give, us that, uh, give us that thumbs up, give us that adulation and affirmation that we all crave over here uh, on the internet. If you would give us the uh, give us a thumb if you dig what we're doing, make a little money. Have a little fun, maybe picking up some great picks from the other campers. Uh, give us that thumbs up. And, of course, tell your friends, tell your neighbors. Uh, get over there, check us out on all of our social media, on Facebook, on Twitter. And, of course, if you haven't done so already, uh, you might want to might want to beat the rush before football season. Get yourself subscribed to the YouTube channel. And, uh, yeah, we can, uh, you'll have uh, first, first comes access uh, to uh, all of the videos. If you uh, click that little bell, you'll be notified immediately. All right? So, uh, and of course, you know the drill. Check out Winners and Winners. Check out Stat Salt. All that good stuff. Uh, fantastic sites. A must, a must visit if you're doing your own capping, uh, especially in uh, baseball right now. And of course, let us know what you're playing in the comment section. Uh, whatever it is, whatever you're on, tell us what it is. You get them right, we'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right, you will be the capper of the day. Hey, and if you win the capper of the day enough times in a row, might even be assured in it from you, in, in it for you. So. Um, yeah, stay tuned on that. And of course, don't forget to visit our friends over there in New Jersey at pointsbet.com. We had a points bet bet of the day that we cashed a ticket on today. So, um, yeah, take a look at that if you are in need of a site there in New Jersey. So, uh, without uh, further ado, let's take a look at uh, today's results. Man, oh man, uh, do we have a horrible beat. Uh, we had the, uh, we had the San Francisco Colorado over. And you know what? They started slow. They, they they made a little run there in the middle of the game, and then they kind of petered out. Ended up being nine, and just uh, just couldn't couldn't get it done. Starting pitchers, you know, it looked pretty good. Uh, the uh, Houston, uh, we had Houston. We had no problems there as they took care of business on the alternative run line. We had Houston minus two and a half at minus one hundred five. That one cashed easily on our points bet play of the day. But holy shit, on our parlay, we had those same Houston Astros on the run line check. We also had the Texas Rangers on the run line who entered uh, the uh, the ninth inning with a three-run lead only to puke it up in the most disgusting fashion possible. I don't know if you guys were watching that game. Um, they had uh, they gave up a run. They gave up a few hits. A couple seeing eye grounders. They gave up they gave up a, they gave up a run. Um, we've got a man on uh, first and second, two outs, uh, one and two count. Uh, fastball up and away, check swing, appeal, no swing would have ended the game. Uh, very close, certainly could have been a swing. Uh, the next pitch, same place, same thing, only swung a little bit more, still no swing. Count goes three and two, walks him. Now the bases are loaded, and we have, um, we have our, we still have a two run lead. However, the first pitch he buries. Uh, he swings at it. It's a strike, but it skips through, goes all the way to the backstop, and they score the run uh, to make it 5-4. And then, of course, they shut him down and close the game out. So, brutal, brutal way to lose a nice 2-1 to -one parlay there as we had. Uh, we were one strike away for uh, three pitches in a row and uh, couldn't get it. So, just an absolutely... <clears throat> All right, anyway, so uh, we go one and two. We end up going one and two, just get Houston to cover there. And, uh, yeah, felt like we let one get away from us there, guys. So, uh, and on the premium side, uh, El Stinko on the premiums as well. We go uh, we go 0 and 2 for the first time in a while as we had the New York Mets and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, Mets had a 3 nothing lead. Match was cruising. All of a sudden, the wheels absolutely fell off, uh, and the Mets forgot how to hit. Bad combination. Uh, they knocked Mats out, put up a five-run inning. And, uh, yeah, that was that. Um, and then a late uh, Mets bullpen implosion, uh, just in case we were thinking we had a chance late. And in the Arizona Diamondbacks, what a weird game there. Um, they had a, 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 a pitcher named Alex Young, a left-hander for Arizona. He, he made the start and uh, switched spots with Robbie Ray, basically. Uh, Ray's going to go tomorrow and uh, against Strasburg. Anyway, um, this kid had been pretty good. He's a kind of a... Kind of a soft toss left-hander. I don't know how we'll do, we've got any old guys out there. Kind of like a Charlie Lee Brandt kind of guy, all right? Um, anyway, 
Uh, but he throws strikes. He keeps the ball down. He changes speeds. Works it all in and out. Um, very nice little, very nice little pitcher. Um, should be a solid back of the rotation guy. Anyway, um, he did a great job. We ended up playing him anyway. We, we canceled the play. Then we went again, and uh, he did a uh, fantastic job. Gives up two runs over six innings. Uh, very fine. All we could have hoped for out of him. However, uh, Arizona no hits. Uh, the only hit um, was Alex Young, the pitcher. He had a uh, he beat out an infield single. Yeah, I want to say like in the fourth, and that was it. That was absolutely it. So we get we get beat there. So oh and two we go. On with today's picks. Let's uh we're gonna pick up the pace here, guys. Come on, we're gonna we're, I gotta try we're gonna try to uh, cut down the time. All right, so we're gonna take a look first of all. Uh, we're gonna ride those Mets again as the uh, uh, as the Mets uh, take on the Pirates there in game two of their series. Mets minus one thirty. Uh, brand new Met Marcus Stroman takes the hill against uh, old old. <laughs> Uh, uh, Pirates pitcher Chris Archer, not not that old, but I'm sure it seemed like forever since he got there. Uh, you know what? Uh, even without two teams headed in their opposite direction, I like this pitching matchup. Stroman, he's had an outstanding year. Uh, 2.96 ERA has been even better over the last month and a half. 2.3 uh, ERA, 105 whip, and he has uh, increased his uh, strikeouts to walks, 5.1 strikeout to walk ratio over his last seven starts. That is outstanding. Um, the Mets, uh, they have uh, won seven of their last eight, while Pittsburgh has dropped 10 of their last 12 and 15 of their last 19. In spite of last night's game, I like the Mets in this spot. Once again, minus 130. And moving on, we're going to look at those Texas Rangers and the uh, Detroit Tigers again, but we're going to go the other way today. Uh, Detroit minus 103. Short uh, short little dog uh, is the Tigers, are the Tigers, uh, as they send Matt Boyd to the mound against uh, Adrian Sampson for the Texas Rangers. Adrian Sampson, uh, they've been moving him back and forth between the pen and the uh, and the starting rotation the entire season, and he has been absolutely dreadful over the last month, which includes uh, three starts, one uh, two relief appearances. Uh, he's got an 11.04 ERA. With a 184 whip, not good at all. That's a he really hasn't pitched well at all in just over a month. Uh, we rode we we rode uh, Matthew Boyd hard early in the season, but he cooled off as the league kind of adjusted to him. Uh, but he's kind of putting it back together. He's been decent for the last month. He's cut down on the home runs that he was giving up. Um, he's lost four straight, but uh, that's due largely to uh, Detroit uh, in them only putting up eight runs total in those four starts. Uh, you always have to worry about Detroit scoring, but I think Adrian Sampson's going to be the great equalizer here. You know what? Texas screwed us last night. They owe us this one. Uh, let's take the Detroit Tigers minus 103, and we're going to finish it up. We're going to do it doggy style, everybody, as we take a look at the Chicago White Sox and the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, White Sox catching 242. How about that? Plus 242 as they send Ross Detweiler to the hill against Aaron Nola for the Phillies. Seems like a slam dunk for the Phillies, right? Two factors go into this one for me. Um, both of them had to do with that game last night. They had a 15-inning game uh, against the Philadelphia Phillies, a game that White Sox ultimately ended up winning uh, as they uh, as they finally scored a run against two innings of their center fielder pitching. Um, the Philadelphia pen is absolutely gassed, all right? They've uh, thrown 17 and two-thirds innings over the last... Three games, if you're wondering why they had their center fielder in relief. Uh, that's a little bit of a clue right there. Um, you know, Detweiler, he's not going to go long, but the Sox pen is in a little better shape. Uh, Aaron Nola, he's going to be working without a net in this one, guys. Um, I don't think, if he if he gets in trouble, I don't think they're going to go get him. I really don't. They just don't have enough bodies out there. And, they, you know, you, 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 you start throwing the pen out there and, and throwing your guys again. Uh, this kind of thing that can, you know, screw up your team for three or four days straight. So I think Nola's going to have to wear this one. He's been okay lately. He hasn't been fantastic. He's given up four earned in two of his last three starts. Um, and I just think uh, there's just too much uncertainty with the bullpens and flux. With everything, all the plans gone out the, gone out the window. Detweiler go, was going to go short. Probably still will. He's not stretched. Um, so, you know, Chicago's going to have to, you know, take care of business with, with their pen as well. It's going to be an interesting game. I don't hate the over here. But uh, I'm going to uh, we're going to bark up the right tree as we're going to be down on the White Sox plus two forty two, 
Tigers, minus 103, and the New York Metropolitans, minus 130. At the end of those three games, you know the drill. We're going to start our weekend off on the right foot as we pick up our winning tickets and we head back to the window. All right. Let's uh, <clears throat> take a quick look real here, real quick right here, everybody. Um, uh, 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 that is, uh, and we'll put the, we'll start putting up the uh, information on the, the month, but we're two and two so far for the month of August. Uh, 30, 17, and 1 since the All-Star break. So, let's take a look at the shout-outs. All right, first of all, I have to say it. Um, we have officially reached the point where we have enough of you, and we have a few people put up a lot of picks. We're going to limit the picks. Guys, here's how it's going to work. I want to get, uh, I'm going to limit it to just to 10, all right? I think that's reasonable. <laughs> I think 10 picks is reasonable. If you want to post other picks, um, and you know you know who I'm looking at, your orangeness, uh, the Mad Carrot is a serious volume capper. Here's the deal, guys. He's very good. I don't want I don't want the carrot not to put his picks up, all right? But on the other hand, I can't be checking 40 picks in a day. I just brother, I can't do it. I know you're doing some of them, and that's cool, but I've got tennis. I don't know why I don't know any of those odds. So um help me out if you would. When you post a tennis play, tell me what the odds are. Because I don't know if you've got a I don't know if you've got a minus four hundred favorite. Or plus 300 dog, all right? So I want to make sure that we get everything done accurately. So, Carrot, here's the deal. Give me your 10 best in one spot, all right? Uh, here are my 10 picks for today. Lay them out for me so I don't have to, like, go and, like, because you like to post a lot, and that's cool. But um, I got to have them all in one spot just for my own sanity, dude. And I'm the first to admit this is all me. Uh, you're doing a fine job. I can't ask you not to post winning picks. But uh, that's fine. Give me an official box. And then whatever you want, throw up there for the other guys to look at. Absolutely, please do it because you are killing it, my friend. So stay hot. Help me out. Help a brother out. Is that, it's, that's all I'm saying. Um, um, and the uh, the carrot today, uh, he had a uh, he had a, a pretty fine day. He he uh, he said he went. Uh, I know you put up you put it up what you did here tonight. And uh, full soccer board yesterday went twenty four nine and one. Uh, that was yeah. That was uh, the day before yesterday. But and he gave, gave props to C Dub for playing the plus eleven hundred play there. Um, so so he went nine and seven today in soccer. Uh, the way I saw it, he went uh, eight and six in the tennis plays. Um, I make that and the baseball. I make that out to be eight seventeen and thirteen, dude. For for our purposes, I'm going to call them all minus one ten. I know that is in no way the case. Uh, seventeen and thirteen. I make that uh, about plus two. Well, I had it. I had it out here. Yeah, plus two seventy. So, um, tell me what you really did. Uh, another fine day, though. Another this. Uh, this this cat's a serious capper. He really is. Uh, Kiss the degenerate. Uh, so you love the deep three. Uh, he said, "Man, the cappers are killing it. absolutely." And I uh, love the shirt. And <laughs> I appreciate the props on the shirt. And so does my granddaughter. Hey, man, we heard from we heard from Cody. Uh, uh, new Papa, uh, new Papa ish, Cody. Taking the summer off, he's getting it fired back up for football. So, uh, yeah, good to, good to hear from you, Cody. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope the family's having a great summer. And uh, we're ready for you, brother. So uh, whenever you get back and ready to go for football, we are we're going to welcome you back with open arms. Uh, Scott P. Uh, Short of Scott yesterday, he actually went 4-0, not 3-0. He, uh, he added the pick from uh, Scott Reichel, from Scott Jr. over there at Scott Selections. So he ended up going 4-0. Uh, well done, my friend. Well done. And uh, Scott was the one that actually... Uh, pointed out the the Robbie Ray pitching change. I got lulled to sleep on that one. I, I checked it earlier in the day, and everything was in good shape. And then they decided to do the switch. So uh, thanks for the thanks for the shout out, Scott. Ended up not mattering, but uh, yeah, we had, we had the right information there, and that's always a good thing. Uh, Scott today had the, uh, of course, he played the two premium plays. He's one of my premium players, and uh, he uh, the one he got down on uh, of his own minus the Blue Jays minus one twenty five. That one hit. So well done, brother. We're firing it back at him tomorrow. You know the drill. Uh, G and G, uh, said, uh, good day. Hope, hope so. He said, he loved the shirt. By the way, he said, Dina can pick out his shirts anytime. That's the deal, man. Um, and, uh, G and G, hope you had fun up there, uh, fishing, you know what I mean? And see those pictures of the, uh, of the, of the walleye, the brim, as they call them up there north of the border, uh, as we know them down in walleye here. You, know, you talk about some good eating. Uh, if you never had a walleye to eat, you ain't never had no fish. All right. Uh, that's a fine, fine tasting fish. And I hope you got a, Hope you got a couple. Uh, hope you got to, to fill your freezer up there, G. Um, he said. Uh, he said, man. He says, give me some of that carrot juice. 
and he's going to throw his Kool-Aid away. Yeah, everybody kind of noticing the carrot. carrot the carrot's killing it. Uh, G&G had today, he had the clubs, the Cubs over, had a three-way money line on the Cubs minus one. That played plus 145, very nice. Uh, had the Cubs team total over four and a half. That one hit. Um, and then he had a uh, seven-point teaser from the uh, CFL as the Ant- um, Ottawa Montreal goes under 60 and a half. Nice tease on that, my friend. Um, he's got the pick for tomorrow. Uh, put that one up there tomorrow for me, brother. I'm, uh, I, don't, I don't have a file open yet, so put that Calgary under up there um, for, for me uh, tomorrow, if you would. Uh, and then he, uh, then he got a little cold. He uh, hey, played, played the Dodgers, who they absolutely shat the bed. And then he rode with the carrot on a WNBA pick, and that one did not work out. But, uh, oh, and then, oh, dude, he, had the, he was honest with the Texas parlay as well. And just to make it interesting, he threw in, um, oh, no, that was another one. That was another one where somebody threw in the twins. So it was even more heartbreaking. Uh, he, oh, he played a double He played a double alternative run line. He played minus two and a half, minus two and a half on both the uh, Strohs and the Astros that would have paid plus 375. And, like we said, uh, he was in good shape as they entered the ninth with a with a three run lead. So, yikes! Uh, Al Dohar said uh, uh, Al Dohar said that you liked our analysis of on the uh, Hall of Fame game. Thanks very much, man, and uh, hope you hope you stop by. Hope you got a chance to stop by and check out the uh, live broadcast. We'll be doing that again, by the way, uh, next weekend, probably the uh, probably Saturday night for the national game there. Uh, I can't remember what it is. I think it's a good one. Oh, is it San Francisco and uh, eh, somebody good? I think it's going to be a good game. So we'll have fun with that. Uh, Mikey Butler, he had the Cubs in the under eight and a half. Had that saw that wind blowing in, he got over the Cubs. Uh, Landon Hayes, he had the Cubs team total over four and a half, and uh, he loved the Texas parlay as well. He's the one that threw the Twins in there for shits and giggles. Man, that would have been a great one because the Twins ended up they were tied, and then they they got out to a lead. The Royals came back but didn't quite get there. The Twins went eleven nine. Uh, oh, god damn. Okay, all right. Anyway. Uh, Kiss to Degenerate, he had the uh, Cubs on the run line and the money line for one unit each. Uh, he said they got to have this, and they did. He goes 3-2, and two plus 44 on the day uh, with his other picks. Um, and, and Ninja had the Cubs on the money line. He also had the Pirates, way to fade right there, my friend. Um, and uh, C-Dub, C-Dub ended up hitting, uh, hitting uh, three out of four soccer picks, including a... Uh, uh, in the Scotland Championship, the uh, Dunferm- Dun- Dunfermline and Dundee, both teams to score in over two and a half. That paid plus 240. That was a nice hit. Uh, that was enough to make uh, C-Dub uh, go to uh, three and one plus 380 as he had another uh, plus 140 um, uh, parlay. So uh, Terrence Fisher, uh, he has a two-team parlay. He had a Houston and Texas. Um, so I don't know if that was the uh, on the money line parlay or that was the run line that we played because he said he liked the deep three too. Terrence, I'm going to give you credit for hitting Houston and Texas. Sorry about the deep three, brother. Um, and Michael Welsh said, Bucking A, the volume, the volume is perfect. Michael, thank you very much. We actually did adjust it after uh, after you said something the other day. So um, I went back and listened. I said, you know what? It is kind of it is kind of distant. So we cranked up the volume a little bit. And uh, there you have it. So uh, quick today, uh, we have our uh, profitable cappers. Kiss to Degenerate is uh, plus 44. Uh, the... Uh, the mad fucking carrot. No, um, <laughs> mad carrot is angry. Um, I, I know he was profitable. Dude, you have to tell me what, after the smoke is cleared, you have to tell me how you did. Um, and, uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to call it the, uh, the cap of the day though, for the second day in a row. Uh, hit him, hit him, hit a couple of nice, uh, hit a couple of nice little, uh, two teamers. It's, uh, it's the one, the only it's C-Dub, sir. You are the cap of the day. Three and one plus 380. You're going to be able to get, C Dub and C Dub's already got a shirt. You're gonna be able to get another Arsenal shirt, brother. We're gonna find out tomorrow. All right. C Dub goes for three days in a row. All right, guys. I don't know how short we are. It just feels like it's long too. So we're we'll, uh, we're doing our best. All right. So uh, help me out. Uh, anytime you're doing the shoutouts, if you could help me out, make it quicker for me. Put down what the odds are if you know them at the time. Um, and if you've made the play, obviously you probably know the odds. So take that extra step. Tell me what the odds are. Tell me what it pays. Help a brother out. All right. We'll be back here tomorrow. We're going to talk all about it. You know you know how we do. We're going to bitch about our bad beats just like we did tonight. But like we're going to do tomorrow, we're going to, uh, we're going to count our fat stacks. All right. And we're going to talk about those. So you guys take care. Have a great weekend. Get out there. Get out there in the sun. Spend some time with the family. And uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Take care, everybody.